So it is our mission to make light the key ingredient for every entertainment experience, just like sound. That's great. So we see that people invest a lot of money in the best sound equipment, and we believe that the next big thing will be light. Growing up in the town of Pune, India, lighting products developed by Philips quite literally lit up my childhood home. And today, I'm so excited to be at the Menlo Park offices of Philips Hue, where so much of this magic comes to life. Let's go meet the team. How do you think the way people engage with lighting uh, and other smart home experiences is going to evolve in the future? There will be a lot of innovation going on around AI, um, Internet of Things, right, ambient computing, all of this. But for us, those will be enablers, and we will use those really in a tailored way to say, okay, how, what can we now do with lighting and these enabling new technologies to really make people's lives better in some way? So you could imagine, right, that AI will just turn the lights on for you in what kind of way. But for us, it's very important that users also keep being in control, right? They don't want random things to all of a sudden happen, right? So bring the right light at the right moment. And so when you're reading a book, you need a very different kind of light than maybe when you're trying to have a movie time or when you're trying to study. Making it easier to automatically do that while keeping people in control, that's going to be uh, one of the things we're going to be working on. So you've been working with the teams at Amazon for nearly a decade now. Can you just speak a bit to how your relationship with Amazon has evolved over the last so many years? Amazon and us have, have the kind of similar goals, but in a very... Uh, collaborative way because we are the leader in smart lighting and I think Amazon is really the leader in uh, voice control and we want to make sure that our systems are the best integrated right so we want to make sure that we're always supporting the latest features from Alexa and that it works extremely smoothly together so we have almost uh, more than weekly conversation directly between the teams of Alexa and you and we'll make sure that our the experience between Alexa and Philips Hue is the best out there. So what are some of the Alexa tools and features that you've used a lot? And can you just speak a bit to your development experience building with Alexa? Yeah, so basically we built, uh, for example, an Alexa smart home skill. However, you know, we have, of course, quite a large user base. And there's some interesting use cases. Like, for example, a lot of people might do a routine. They turn their light on at 8 p.m. at night. So all of a sudden, we get all of these requests to our backend. So what we do with Alexa, of course, we have our own monitoring to make sure that all stays like a super fast, smooth experience. But also with Alexa, they have their own analytics and monitoring tools from their end. And we use that to compare and always make sure that, you know, the customer gets a um, reliable, fast experience. It's great to be here with Rob Pullman, product owner for entertainment and partnerships at Philips Hue. So tell us what you've got. The u -Sync box, which is uh, a piece of hardware that my team is working on. Uh, so with this device, we actually allow your smart lights to react to the on-screen content. So whether you're watching a movie, playing a video game, or listening to music, your lights will react to what's on the screen. And if you now look at the screen, you can also clearly see that, that yeah, the colors of the screen are really projected on the lights. This piece of hardware, you connect between your TV and your input sources, and then it creates a light effect on the lights. Now, in total, we support up to 10 lights, and with that, you can really create a surround lighting experience to enhance yourself into the content. The main way to control the Usync box is via the U-Mobile app, but to make it easy and convenient, we partnered up with Alexa. So by talking to your Alexa, you can change the brightness, the intensity, or turn the light sync on or off. Alexa, set sync box to stop. Okay. Now you see that the light sync stopped. Alexa, set the sync box to start. Okay. And now, Alexa, turn the sync box back on. While you sit on your couch on your Friday evening watching a movie, you can just turn the sync box and change its settings and really personalize it. It's good to be here with Winnie Fong, who's the Global Partnerships Manager for Philips Hue. Over 10 years ago, before the whole smart lighting world, the only thing you could do is really turn things on and off. And then the evolution, we like introduced smart lighting, the ability to control things using your phone, your app, and then with our Alexa integration using the Developer Skills Kit, then we introduce voice and your ability to control warmness, brightness, and color control using all of that command. Now, we're actually kind of bringing that physical element back in. Two of our products right here are Hue Tap Dial as well as our dimmer switch. One of the most common things that people use is obviously to turn off, on, um, like our, our lights. 
But um, during the holiday season, all throughout the year, people actually like to decorate their house with the lights and be able to control it too. And um, through our Alexa integration, we can actually do that with the touch of a button now. And so if you go through um, in July, if you're celebrating 4th of July and you imagine fireworks right outside, um, and during October, our biggest season of the year, um, Halloween and pumpkins and festivities. In December, you get Hanukkah, and then you also have the big holiday season where everything is, re um, is green and red and bright lights as well. And so those are just some of the most popular scenes that we end up seeing um, ha like happen in the, the, the Hue and the Alexa integration ecosystem. So are you looking forward to doing stuff with generative AI with what Amazon and Alexa are going to enable in the near future? We will here be focusing really on you know, smart home lighting, we, we're doing it pretty well and we're going to keep on doing that very well. But we are going to go step by step further in what can you do more than lighting. We have a lot in, uh, in the pipeline together. <laughs>